Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I'll be taking a look at this Logitech G810 Orion Spectrum RGB mechanical gaming keyboard featuring the Romer G switches. Here's what you get in the box. The user guide has a link to the G810 software for programming this keyboard. I've included a tutorial on the software in this video like I usually do. Next up is the safety, compliance, and warranty guide. This is the game code for Tom Clancy's The Division. Flip it over to find the code. You get an attached braided cable with USB 2.0 connector. On the bottom of the keyboard are some fun diagonal stripes. Logitech has chosen to add some gloss to their G810 design. There's rubber feet with good surface area and angled feet to prop this keyboard up if that's your thing. If you don't want a high angle, you can choose to set the feet in its second position. This keyboard measures 443.5 millimeters by 153 millimeters by 34.3 millimeters, and it weighs 1180 grams. The G810 is mostly matte to help avoid fingerprints, but it does have gloss around the edges. You get 26 key rollover, so rest easy knowing all your button presses will register. I don't see any function key commands, which means dedicated controls, yes. In this area are the LED indicators for num lock, caps lock, and scroll lock. Here's what they look like lit up. Also, the G in the corner lights up as well. This is the game key. It enables and disables the Windows lock feature. The LED will turn on when Windows is locked. Next to that is the backlight on off button. It's always great to instantly be able to turn off a function with a single click. And here's my favorite, the mute key. Thank goodness for this feature. There are way too many times in a day where I'm pressing that key. To the right of that is the volume wheel, another lovely feature that I'm glad is becoming more common on certain keyboards. Below the volume control are the dedicated media keys. Some of you may find this useful, but I personally don't use it all that much. Let's take a look at the Romer G switches. Logitech claims the switches have an actuation point that's 25% shorter than standard mechanical switches. And nice, 70 million keystroke life, which makes the Romer G 40% more durable than standard mechanical switches. Wow, these switches feel amazing. They're very smooth with low noise. You get the light bump of MX Browns with a more satisfying actuation. The keys just feel so evened out across the board. This may be my new favorite keyboard. And now here's how these Romer G switches sound. Here's a look at the Logitech gaming software. I'll be showing off the keyboard LEDs in this section as well. Make sure that the firmware is updated. Right now we are on the home screen. Click on the breathing keys in the software to start programming. Or click this G icon on the bottom. This is the profile section. You can add a profile, scan for game profiles. It comes preloaded with profiles for over 300 games, damn. You can also import export and there's even a print option. I'm on the default profile right now, but you can click on installed game profiles if you have them. The software will detect what games you have installed and show the key bindings for each game. Double click the F1 to F12 tabs to program the keys. Or click on the drag down menu to assign new command. You can choose to change the keystroke or assign a multi-key or macro. Type in the name of the macro, I'm going with F1 macro. I like to record delays between events because some spells have a certain countdown timer and I want to get it just right. Anyway, press start recording and enter the keystrokes. For this demo, I'll just type in QWERTY. Click stop recording when you're done. There's also repeat options in this area. Press OK and let's head into Notepad to check out this macro. When I press F1, QWERTY will show up. Cool. In addition to macro making, you can also create a text block. This is great for emails and any generic text that needs a shortcut. There's a mouse function section too. Media commands, certain hotkeys that could be useful to you, shortcut to local or network programs, special function commands, and even a ventrilo commands list that you can assign to the F keys. To the left is a commands list. You can drag and drop certain commands to the F keys, or use the drag down menu to edit or delete a command in the list. Once you've got your settings tuned, you can use the drag down menu to save or export a profile as well as other options. Let's move on to lighting. In this box are the lighting modes. This one is freestyle, which means you can set the color of each key. Pick the color first in the stock section or click anywhere on the color wheel. Drag these bars to change up the intensity and hue, and you can even type in the specific RGB levels you're looking for. You can save certain colors in the custom section here. Once you've selected the color of your choice, click on the individual keys to assign that color to that key, or highlight a group of keys to assign that color to that group. Repeat the process to change up the colors. There's 16.8 million colors, have fun. Next, let's look at lighting zones. This will keep your lighting organized. It looks like the G810 has plenty of lighting zones covered for gaming, like WASD keys, arrow keys, and the like. Double click on the text to change the name of the zone. You can add or delete a zone in this area. Let's add a JTL zone. Highlight the keys that will correspond with the zone, and when you click through the list and then back to JTL zone, the highlighted keys should match the zone name. Once again, toggle the color in this box. Lastly, we have lighting effects. Here are the choices. This one is fixed color, which just means single solid color. Pick a color in this section and click the color box in effect selection to apply it. Here's a look at various other solid colors so you have a better idea of how they look. 
Next up is breathing. This one is a classic that never seems to go out of style. In addition to color change, you can also toggle the speed. This is what the fastest setting looks like. I actually like the middle setting better this time. Fast just feels stressful. Hmm, I've never seen star effect before. I suppose it's like looking up at a starry night. Kind of cool. Random keys will light up, just like twinkling stars, I suppose. You can change the star color as well as add a sky color, which is a background color if you like. Contrasting colors look better in my opinion, or you could choose to keep it black with only the star color. Here's color cycle. This effect is self-explanatory in that it cycles through the colors. I'm going to put this on fastest mode so you can see all the rainbowlicious colors alight before your eyes. Oh my gosh, bad idea. My eyeballs are freaking out from the color shifts. Here's color wave. It's just beautiful, but this is definitely a setting that I prefer to just show people. You can change the direction of the wave. I like center out. It's like the Skittles effect. Mmm. I personally like either the solid color or reactive lighting. And this brings me to key press. For people who like subtle lighting, key press is probably the best choice. Only the keys you press will light up and then the LED will fade after you let go. I find this rather fun actually, like raindrops. Once again, you can add a background color in addition to the key press color. Here's what it looks like, but you know I prefer just dark keys with only the key press effect. That's it for the lighting. What's cool is that you can synchronize lighting effects with other Logitech G devices. This icon allows you to disable a key when the game mode key is enabled. You can add game mode keys to any game profile. If you want a key press heat map, just head over to this section. I don't really need to know which keys I press the most, but maybe you'll find it helpful. Here's the settings menu, where you can allow games to control lighting and check for new profiles online. Click on the specific product to update firmware. Next to the settings icon are the share and help menus. That wraps up this look on the Logitech G810 Orion Spectrum RGB mechanical gaming keyboard featuring the Romer G switches. I'm Joanne, and if you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Joanne Tech Lover Facebook, Joanne Tech Lover again on Twitter, and Joanne Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Instagram. Also, be sure to check out my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle, JTL Cuteness Overload, and JTL Love Life and Advice. I guess that's bye for now and see you next time!